Look at that. <laughs> Dumbbell. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Kyle here. We just touched down in Utah. It's gonna be an amazing week of hikes, great food, business conference at the end of the week, but we started off with the grocery store because we gotta get fueled up for the week and let's get after it. We'll show you what we get. So if you saw our Florida video of a year or two years ago now, I actually have kept that great habit of Greek yogurt in the morning. As you can see on the screen, these are the macros I get from my particular Greek yogurt. And here's what I put in it. And I find one of the best ways to add some variety is you can switch up the types of fruits you have or different things that will complement the toppings to make it a little more tasty. And these are also great carbs. These are good. We work out early in the morning, so this is a nice way for me to get some quick carbs in my system, get an extra good pump. But we're going to start off with some berries. We're going to shop the perimeter. And we're going to show you some of the stuff we get for a week of travel. And as you can see, like Kyle said, coming here first thing's important holds us accountable, it keeps us away from those places we shouldn't be. Even though we will have some fun foods, we're keeping that 80-20 rule going. Bananas are also clutch when you're traveling because there's going to be so many times where you want a quick snack, you want to bring something, maybe you haven't had enough food before the gym. Once again, quick carb source, great carb source, big fan of these, so definitely picking up some. I just picked these Dude, up! Dude, these are a crazy hack. Only in America, it is a great ice cream alternative. And you know what? I like these so much, I'm going to grab two right now because I like ice cream, I have a sweet tooth, so let's go. So we didn't pack pre, I find it's annoying to bring a bunch of powders on an airplane through security. So usually we'll just come, I think it's a good opportunity to try some fun energy drinks. Kind of be an offer energy drink game, obviously they're getting a little expensive. Uh, Ghost has some really cool marketing, some crazy flavors. I'm getting an orange cream, I'm getting a Warheads, getting a sour patch and we're gonna be hitting a really cool gym so stay tuned like we got a lot of really fun good content planned here it'll be super entertaining it'll be super informative and i think everyone will learn a lot and it's uh nice to be back on the vlog game Chiobani. <laughs> so we've been on that Chiobani game pretty much all our time in florida i miss this don't have this in canada either but look at this there's an oikos Pro. Oh wow. <laughs> 25 grams of protein. This has got to be a huge serving or something because yeah, it's for 106 cows. But that's pretty intense. 25 protein. It's like a scoop of protein. So I think we have to pick up the pro today. I'm a big Chibani guy. I guess it's Chibani, not Chibani. Uh but pro. Look at this one, too. 28. Man, we gotta give it a taste test. Yeah, we'll do a Greek yogurt taste test. As someone who eats Greek yogurt almost every day. Bread and butter, it's just so good, it's so easy. We'll get this and we'll get a Chobani for old times sake. So reference, this is 14 grams of protein. This one is 25. It'll be very interesting to see they are the exact same price and I believe the exact same serving size. So very interesting, but we'll see. This, the big test will be how it actually tastes. All right, so here we got milks. What's cool about milk in general is actually fantastic macro. So even whole milk's 150 cows, eight fat, six carb, 13 protein. It's actually a pretty good distribution of the three. Uh, if you're actually just trying to hit your macros, you could almost do it fully on milk. Probably feel miserable, but it is a great option. We're going for high protein, low cal to start the day. So that's why I'll usually go with the skim milk, but if you have more calories to spare, you can increase the amount and the percentage of your milk to get some more calories from other sources. Great way to start the day. It's a good thing if you're just looking for a little bit of food, you can get a blast of protein from a cup of milk. It's not gonna exactly hit your goals, but it will kind of get you there. And this is where you have to look at your specific goals, what your calories are and what you need. Uh, but that's why today we're grabbing a skim. I will say it definitely is cool to see more people leaning towards the higher protein, high fiber options and a lot of labels do obviously showcase that but you obviously have to be careful because marketing can be very strong, right? There's some people out there, the big label saying high protein and it's like five grams of protein or you know high fiber, very similar situation. So just something to think about, you have to be aware of that but uh, read the labels, it'll always help. So I'd say always go in with a plan, you know, if you bring these into the house, not demonizing it not necessarily something off limits but you know that you're going to have a ton of them especially when you get super hungry especially when it's super accessible we will have fun stuff we've incorporated some fun stuff but there's a time and a place and you have to definitely know how you react especially when you're very low willpower at the end of the day like a lot of people so these are a no-go definitely not going to get them but we still have some fun snacks so uh me and kyle are doing a lean bulk right now and uh, we're just putting on some size, but Brody here is doing a heavy bulk, so we're really trying to get him some good quality carbs. Really just jack the calories up and see if we can bring that weight up quite substantially, right Brody? So that's why we need lots of this stuff here. 
right? When we seen David Goggins on uh, Saturday, and my question is for him, who's gonna carry the grocery bags? Ooh. Comment down below if you're the same type of person to carry way too many things to avoid two trips. I think everyone gets very simple relay. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed following us around Walmart. It's been a good minute since we've done that. Obviously, we didn't get as many lunch or dinner foods. Once again, we like to eat out. Uh, we did like 60 days of Chipotle in a row. Uh, it's just so convenient post-training. I like the macros. I'm away. Uh, it's a good time to kind of take advantage of that. So that's how we like to spend that. So it's really healthy breakfast, some fun snacks, and we'll keep you up to date with the exciting eats we try around Utah. We're in a new place. We're going to make it fit. But like I said, we're starting that day with that high protein. This is my bread and butter. I'm going to walk you through it. I pretty much eat this every day. It's a great balance of protein, carbs, and fats, and I'm excited to share with everyone. So let's get it. So obviously I don't have a food scale here. You can bring your food scale. It's really not that big or hard to. I really should have. That's me calling myself out. But I do this pretty much every day. I'm pretty accurate when I have a tablespoon. So I know myself that about five to six scoops like this is about 260 grams which is the typical serving of Greek yogurt I have. So it is quite a lot and I do burn through these, uh, but once again, I like it and I find it's very satiating. So that would be about 260 grams. Is that gonna be exact? No, but that's me doing my best ability. They have it logged as 160 cows per 170 grams. So obviously when I log it, I'll just log it to 260 grams. So that's how I'd start this off. Next, I like to top this off with some granola. Now here I have no excuse because thankfully our Airbnb actually has some measuring cups, which is absolutely awesome. So we can be very exact here and make sure we have the right serving size of what we want. And what's awesome too, obviously we want to carve up so we can really kind of just say based on our calories, we're both doing a lean bulk so we can appreciate and enjoy a little bit more of this. So I think I will go full of for a full serving, which is two thirds of a cup. So the best way to do that is just one of the third cup. And then we can be super ultra accurate with this. This I think should be made quick. So there's big third. So I'll make this one a little bit less. So all the time, everyone's always saying, it's impossible to stay on track when you're on vacation. Or I like to just enjoy myself. I do too. Like we said, we're gonna have a lot of fun things. We're gonna make it work. The best hack is a high protein start to your day. You're also gonna save a ton of money. If you go to breakfast every day, it's really gonna add up. I'm not saying not to do it once. I'm sure we will do it once. But even for me, like I'm out all day, I'm starving. I don't know what to get. I can literally just make this. We're gonna put some berries on top of it. But without the berries, we're at 44 protein, 60 carb, 12 fat, which is like a great start to the day for me and a really great intro workout. Like this is gonna satiate me. Like I said, I'm gonna be full for my lip. I got some carbs, I got some complex carbs, I got some simple carbs, some berries, like there's no better way to get this done. So we'll slice up the berries and finally enjoy this food. If you wanna add some more fat, peanut butter's fantastic on here. Normally I add some hemp, some chia, like you can really jack this up and just make it really, really fun. And it's just so quick and easy. There's no excuse to not take advantage of it. Action. So here we go. Josh just made me a delicious breakfast. I'm really excited to dig in. We got strawberries, blueberries, all the great stuff and uh, starting the day right. What's up? Don't judge me. I know pump, but we're going to get pumped up today because we're at the Mountain Mecca Gym. This place is sick. Incredible equipment. Everyone's been super laid back here. So we're starting Utah, right? We had our high protein breakfast. Like I said, you saw me in the grocery store, bringing it back old school. Got the orange creamsicle. Uh, to start our workout off today, I've been doing straight pull down, just get warmed up, get the back firing. It's been one of my favorite things. I like to warm up with three by 15, a couple warm up sets before that. Um, you can really use any bar you want. Playing around with this, I think it's a little bit worse than a normal handle, but it'll do the job. I've really been working on a no junk volume. So instead of just absentmindedly doing this, come down, squeeze, one, two, stretch that lateral hold. It's a different piece. The rating here. 
This one's pretty good. I'd say like seven out of 10. I'm excited for the cream skull one. I feel like it'll be a lot better. So following our routine here, Josh actually just created it last week and it's so nice like just pulling it up, seeing exactly like what we have to do. It just allows for so much structure, no shortcuts. And that's where I think a lot of people struggle is like, I'm going to a gym, I'll do whatever. And you just end up doing a bit of kind of junk sets, like random things, and you don't actually end up making progress. So like, I highly encourage you, get on a routine, stick to it. I'm really pumped about this. It's our five day split that Josh put together. So we're taking no shortcuts and we're getting it done. Most people, Smith shrugs, trying to grow my traps. I'd go way too heavy and I just feel like I'd end up always kind of bugging my back and my traps in general. So I switched over to cable, unilateral movement, doing a one arm at a time, really working on engaging that trap. And I've really noticed more growth. This has never been a strong part for me, but I definitely feel an improvement with this. Definitely recommend checking it out. When you're in a new gym too, play with some of the toys. Got a really wide grip attachment here. A lot of fun, you can pivot it out. Adds a little bit more challenge with the grip really makes you engage the muscle you're using. Start with this side so you can see better. So I'm right up, big stretch. Really being aware not to cheat. or even if you don't and you want to stay balanced, incorporate some unilateral training. So instead of just doing lat pull downs fix, even though we did those, I'm really trying to work on my width right now. Uh, so I'm actually going ahead and taking advantage of some single arm motions. So it's a great opportunity to make sure you're developing evenly. You can really isolate each side, make sure you're nice and equal. It's just a great challenge. So definitely make sure you're incorporating a few of those in your workouts. <laughs> Great to be back in the vlog game. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below vlog gang. We'll pick someone to win a $20 Amazon gift card just to thank you. And it's great to be back here. Thank you everyone for supporting us. We love getting uploads out and this is just day one. We got five killer more days here so expect some more great content. Thank you for tuning in as always. Peace out.